For the 14th year in a row, Ohio University men's basketball starts the season 1-0. Paint it green and white. Ohio wins at 61-53 over the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. We're presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. It was a game. It happened. There was some good. There was some bad. It's over with, and Ohio's 1-0. Yep, you learned some things about the team, some new faces, some new players. Ohio got out to a big lead, extended its second half to 19 points, got close at the end. Ohio ends up winning by three possessions. Savian Kirk led the way for Ohio. Good first game with his uncle Jeremy Fears in attendance. Especially a good first half. Reminds you, Jeremy, some of his game gets to the rim, rebounds a lot for a guard, good length, was okay defensively, had some things to learn, was our player of the game. Uh, Shooting-wise, this is not going to be the, the norm for Ohio, you wouldn't figure. This is a better shooting ball club. Than no, and this is a burn the tape kind of game on the offensive end. You were sub-25% shooting the three. That never happens to this group. You were sub-43% shooting the two. Trust me, that's not a great number either. That number will revert to the mean. Defensively, you caused 24 turnovers. A lot of those were Ohio's fault, causing 24 visiting turnovers. Ohio was out-rebounded in the contest, and Ohio was sped up a little bit at the end of the game. But the good news here is that you learn through playing, and you learn through playing in a win. Yep, solid stat nights. Gavin Block goes for double-figure rebounds. Uh, Doug Taylor goes double-figure rebounds, 10 of those defensively ending possessions by Alabama a &M. So now, Ohio basketball heads on down to Charleston, South Carolina. I've never been to Charleston, South Carolina. I'm really looking forward to it. By the looks of things, it looks like it is a classy city, and we are two classy cats. And there's going to be three games in four days for Ohio. First things first, the Clemson Tigers. Yep, kind of a pro schedule for you, and that is a big opponent. That may be the number one seed in that tournament, depending on whether you think of the others. But Clemson's a tough out, and that's going to be essentially a sort of a home game for those guys. Yep, we'll be on the air at 4.30 with a tip at 5 o'clock from the College of Charleston on Thursday. Game Friday, off day Saturday. You're going to have fun on that off day. And then Sunday, Bobcat football. You win, you win the East. And if you beat Akron, that's 10 in a row over the Zips, and that is the fifth division title in the Frank Solich Yep, era. it's just that easy. Akron unsure who the quarterback will be, had some injury trouble at running back, and this Ohio team has exceeded expectations on offense. If they can go out there and score their average right around 40 again, they walk out of Akron with a win on Tuesday night. We'll see you in Detroit in a few weeks. Uh, kick time, 7 o'clock from Infocision Stadium. Tickets are most certainly available. We're on the air at 6 o'clock, so this will be a magical mystery tour for you and I. Cuyahoga Falls to Columbus to a flight to Charlotte, to Charleston, and who knows what kind of hijinks we're going to get into. A fun week, a lot of Bobcat sports, four games in five or six days. Stay with us, jump in on the radio. Our post-game report is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. Ohio wins over Alabama and m 61-53 in the opener for the entire Bobcat TV crew, all of them, good people. Good person, Rob Cornelius. Heck of a guy, Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.